Depreciation is an accounting concept that allows businesses to deduct the cost of an asset over its useful lifetime. For example, let's say that you purchase a piece of equipment for $10,000 and that asset has a useful lifetime of five years. There are a few ways to calculate depreciation. The most common is the straight line method. Using the straight line method, you can deduct $2,000 of yearly depreciation for five years. By doing this, the business spreads out the cost of an asset over the time that it's used rather than having to deduct the entire cost the year that it's purchased. Now, why should you do that? There are a couple reasons. First, depreciation can help to reduce taxable income. Because depreciation deductions are considered ordinary business expenses, they offset other business income, such as sales revenue. Second, depreciation can help to improve a business's cash flow. Because a business can deduct the cost of the asset over time, this can free up cash for other purposes, such as marketing or hiring new employees, by paying less taxes, that is. And the business does not need to be a corporation. A sole proprietor can take advantage of this as well. If you're like me, you might be asking, if I buy a large format printer for $10,000, why wouldn't I expense it against that year's income? Well, from what I understand, operational expenses can be fully tax deducted in the year that they are made. But when a business purchases an asset such as equipment, the cost of that asset is considered a capital expense. Capital expenditures are not deductible in the year that they are incurred. Instead, they must be depreciated over the useful lifetime of the asset. And for a plotter, that might be five to seven years. When a business depreciates an asset, it can deduct a portion of its cost from its taxable income yearly. And this can help to reduce the business's tax liability and provide for additional cash flow for other investments, such as copyrights, which, by the way, are also able to be depreciated. That's right. There are tangible assets, such as equipment, and the IRS defines some intangible assets, such as copyrights, patents, trademarks, and so on. Even software can be considered an intangible asset and be depreciated. Now we're now getting into the complex part of depreciation and an area where you should probably be consulting with a, an accounting advisor. Another example of this is what do you do when it comes time to sell that plotter that you've been depreciating? I love how our Legal and financial consultants always seem to answer with, it depends. But it does depend on what the salvageable value is, value is and when during the depreciation life cycle that the sale takes place. And there's a chance that you may be paying a little bit of capital gains tax when you make that sale. But my point is, know that you have options and opportunities. Seek out accounting advice and take advantage when you can. You may also want to consider joining a business networking group. You might get some referrals out of it, but you also might get in a group with an accountant who may give you some free advice over breakfast. And when it comes to claiming these yearly tax deductions for your asset purchases, it may be helpful to hand your bookkeeper a depreciation worksheet. What's that, you ask? I'm glad you did. It's a simple straight line chart that keeps track of your asset purchases, what year they were made, their useful lifetime, salvageable value, and the amortization of the expenses year by year. It sounds worse than it is. Like other spreadsheets that we provide in our Designer Docs library, we've provided step-by-step -step instructions, and we've entered some of the fields already to provide you with some examples. Find the Designer Docs library at aibd.org slash store. It's included with your AIBD membership. Another thing to take advantage of if you're not already. So, depreciation is an important accounting concept that can help businesses, especially micro-businesses, reduce their taxable income and improve their cash flow. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching this entire video and have a triumphant week.